what was what was your even in college, college, NBA, wherever you played overseas, what was your typical routine? Like did you listen to something that you eat or what in college, um I always listen to backyard band. You know, I'm a, I'm a back. Y'all heard that? I'm a, I'm a backyard fan. Y'all heard that? Everybody know. You know, you used to see me at the backyard shows. You know, Big G is like my brother. You know, um, backyard was always something I listened to before the game. You know, Coach Reeves is coming there like, what is this? They banging on trash cans. <laughs> 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 you had to shit out. You had to shit loud. So me. yeah, we used to play in the locker room before the game. Right. <laughs> banging on trash. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, in college, it was always backyard for me before every game, you know. How did your teammates from that front area take to that? Um, believe it or not, some of them came to the go-go with me, so they, they mm -hmm. knew what it was once. A lot of people from out of this area, they don't really know go-go, but I'm like, come on, let's go, you know. Check it out. Go to the black hole, let's go to the Met. Mm -hmm. And once they get in there, they like, you know, you know they're a little, first they're a little skeptical. But when they get in there and they see the energy and they see, you know, how we party, they like, man. Yeah, you know, I, think, I think once they got in there and saw the motherfucking booty <laughs> shit, <laughs> they wouldn't even pay attention to like, that motherfucking drama. I told a story <laughs> with somebody who asked me who was my, my favorite teammate, Vince Carter, when I, when I got traded to Toronto. Mm -hmm. Vince like go-go? Man, Vince was like, man, what's up, man? I need some go-go CDs. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Vince, what you know about go-go? <laughs> But if you, Vince was a, a drum major in oh, Florida when he was in high right, school, so right, you know, they listened right, to percussions right, and they right, stepped. Right. So he loved the percussions, you know, the, the, the roller times, the congos, the drums. Oh, okay. So he was like, man, I need some. I'm like, Vince, what you like, man, what are you talking about? I know all the, the, the um, who was back there, Rare Essence. Oh, he was calling them out. Yeah, you, you know him by name. I'm <laughs> dropping utensils. Oh, wow. And I'm like, man, stop playing Vince. So I had my man. Uh, drive up from Philly, he played Philly. Right. And he got like all the go-go CDs he could find, Rare Essence, Proper Utensils, um, who was out uh, back then? Jones was out. Didn't get no Jones 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 Jones. Uh, of course. Oh. Like, I mean, he, he knew all of it. Like, I'm saying, it was like at least 30 CDs. I think I took all the backyard ones out for myself. But um, <laughs> so I, was, I was like, Vince, I'm like, here you go. He was like, he was so happy. He couldn't hear. This was back when iPods first came out. Like, he used to take the CDs and you would put them in the computer. And he was like, man, I'm going to go put these on the iPod right now. He was like, he knew all the songs because in North Carolina, they used to play them in all the parts. Like, cause they used to go there. Yeah, cause it, it was just strange to me, cause no other teammate knew anything else about right. Gogo unless they was from, you know, the area. I can but Vince was, he was into it. He knew, he knew. He knew when he, when he started naming bands' names. I'm like, oh, he's serious about it. So. I, I was